Hello and welcome to the UAWC lab. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on our UP 3D printer that we so affectionately call Polly. Polly is a portable 3D printer and she's very easy to use. To begin, we'll start by showing you how to change the filament. Yeah. I wanted to make the plane first and then buy the stuff for the plane. Bigger plane. Currently we're using white filament, but let's say we want to use a different color like purple. Here's how to do it. To change the filament for our UP 3D printer, we must consult the software. The software for this 3D printer is called UP. Now that we're loaded into UP, go to the very top of the page and go to the part that says 3D print. And there you will see an option that says maintenance. Under maintenance, we are given the option to extrude filament, withdraw filament, and give the mass of the new spool. First, we need to withdraw our filament. To do this, we click withdraw. The extruder head needs to reach a specific temperature for us to be able to withdraw it, so we must wait until then. Looking at the bottom of the screen and on the box in the middle of the screen, we can see what temperature the extruder head is currently at. We are now ready to withdraw our filament. Pull carefully and slowly at the filament until it's completely out of the extruder. Once you get it out, make sure that you hold taut to the spool and carefully pull the filament out of the holder. Then wrap the filament around and place the remaining filament through one of the holes in the spool. Now that we've withdrawn our previous filament, we can now add new filament. To add a new add new filament, press extrude. Since I mentioned wanting to use purple filament, that's what I will be placing into the printer. Place it carefully back on the spool holder. And put your filament through. Now, carefully and slowly place the new filament into the extruder head. The extruder will grab and pull the filament into the printer. Watch to make sure that your filament is coming out the other end melted and that it's the correct color. Once all of this filament comes out purple, we can end the process of extruding. Before you do any print jobs, make sure to check your build plate. First, take off all the parts on the side that secure the build plate to the platform. And place it on a level surface. And gently scrape at it to remove any excess plastic from a previous build. You might find it useful to place your build plate against another object. Make sure to scrape away from it so that you don't harm your fingers. Once you're done, be sure to clean your mess up afterwards and go back to the platform to place it back on. Ensure all spring clips secure build plate, otherwise the plate may shift during your print.
help the object adhere to the build plate, apply a thin layer of glue stick onto the build plate. Keep in mind that it is especially important when printing large parts to apply glue stick or something else to help the object adhere so that it doesn't warp. Now we're ready to load and print our part. To load our part into the UP software so it can be customizable and sent to the printer, go to File, and then go to Open. We are currently on the desktop. Many files, however, are placed in the 3D folder, seen here. In the 3D folder, I'm going to choose the object of Stretchlet. You see it? Now that we've loaded our object onto the platform in the software, we can customize it to our liking. If you would like to move your object, click the Move button at the top of the screen. Make sure your object is selected and highlighted pink when you do this. To move it, we can either move it on the X axis, Y axis, or Z axis, and we can do it in any number of these increments. Since we want our object to be flat on the platform, we can press the place button next to the X, Y, and Z axis buttons. Our object is now centered and placed flat on the middle of the platform. We can also rotate and resize our object. To rotate the object, click rotate at the top of the screen and choose how much we would like to rotate it and which direction. For this particular object, we'd like it to be sitting just as it is. To resize our object, we go to resize at the top of the screen. We can resize it by any one of these increments or a typed in increment of our own. To resize it, once the object is selected, click Resize or Scale. This is the size of the object that I have chosen to print. Under Setup, we can adjust the infill, our shell, our support layers, and whether or not we need stable supports. This particular object does not need stable supports, so we'll uncheck stable supports. The level of thickness will determine how long the print job will take and how durable it is. Since this is only just a bracelet, let's reduce it to the second highest fill. Once we're done adjusting our settings, click OK. Under maintenance, it's always good to choose table heat for one hour so that our bed is preheated prior to sending our print job to the printer. Once you've selected to preheat the print bed, click quit. Now we want to send our object to the printer. Go up to the top of the page and go to print. Under print, we are given the option of having a raft or no raft in our print job. This print job does not require a raft, so we will keep no raft checked. Now that we are ready, we can send our print job by pressing OK.